poll question. What will you remember most about the conference title games? The choices are, and in the colors of the teams, but visually some of you can't see that. Patrick Mahomes' gutty performance on bad ankle. Bengals' poor, <laughs> Bengals poor offensive this, this line This is going to be a bad idea. Why? Well, you're telling them the poll question, but you have it kind of color-coded and, here. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Red, orange, green, and black. Oh. Patrick Mahomes' gutty performance on bad ankle. Bengals' poor <laughs> offensive line play. Brock Purdy, early QB injury. Eagles' superb defense. Bad officiating. <laughs> Which one will you remember most about what went down yesterday? Uh, in the NFL? So the Eagles roll the Niners, and uh, the Niners quarterbacks got knocked out. We're going to try to get an update on Brock Purdy's injury because this could be a big injury for them. Uh, it might be Tommy John surgery. You know, he was 4-4 to start that game. Then he got hit by uh, Reddick and tried to come back, couldn't throw the ball. And there might be a bigger picture story here at the quarterbacking position. And if, and if you factor in what happened, okay, you got Trey Lance, you got Jimmy Garoppolo, you let Jimmy Garoppolo try to seek a trade, couldn't get a trade, Trey Lance gets hurt, Jimmy plays well, all of a sudden you're thinking Jimmy's the future there, then Jimmy gets hurt, then you bring in Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy, who plays wonderfully, now he gets hurt, now what happens at the quarterbacking position? But... The Niners quarterbacks getting knocked out early. You know, there wasn't anything special about the Eagles win, but it didn't have to be. You know what happens? Let's say you're uh, running in a race and the guy you're running against gets hurt. Well, you only have to run fast enough to outrun him, yeah. and that's all the Eagles did. It's like the Niners are banged up. All we have to do is just keep running the football. They ran the ball 44 times. And, you know, you protect Jalen Hurts. You didn't ask him to do much. Had a rushing touchdown, but the defense played wonderful. It was weird. I thought in the first eight minutes of that game, the Eagles were going to dominate. They had already dominated, but it you know turned out to be 7-7 after McCaffrey scores the touchdown. I'm thinking, okay, if Kyle Shanahan can coach up whoever's playing quarterback, maybe they can hold hold you know, serve here with them. They can stay close, but then after that, uh, you know, rotating quarterbacks, they could never really establish anything offensively and give, give credit to the Eagles. You do, you know, you don't get style points at the, at this point of the season, just win, just get there. You win 31 to seven, the chiefs beating the Bengals, the late field goal, some shaky calls with that. Uh, here's Patrick Mahomes after the win guys were probably the most pumped up I'd seen them going into a football game. A lot of trash talk coming from a lot of different places. I think no one picked us to win. If so, it was like 5% of people. Um, and uh, we think we've built up enough respect to have a chance to go out and win every game. So uh, whenever you feel like you're the underdog, when you're playing at Arrowhead Stadium, it gets guys ready to go. Yeah, and you know, Mahomes did what you want. Greats to do. Somehow, some way, you make a play. Bengals, that felt like, you know, the... Uh, the Chiefs and Chris Jones had established what was going to happen in that game. And I thought last week, if you were going to see a shaky offensive line, it was going to come back to haunt the uh, Bengals. It certainly did last uh, last night. They hit uh, Joe Burrow 12 times. So that offensive line that was missing three starters, that didn't seem important to a lot of people leading up to this game because they survived Buffalo, certainly played a large role here. Chiefs did what they needed to do. And... Played with a chip on their shoulder. In the NFL, we're always attracted to these skilled position players, and, and rightfully so. You know, leading into this game, you're talking about the quarterbacks. But the Eagles came away uh, with maybe the most impressive performance offensively and defensively with their lines. And, you know, at the end of the day, you can have great skilled position players, but the game is still very much won in the trenches. And Philadelphia has been the best offensive and defensive line this entire season. And the Eagles had just under 150 yards on the ground. They kept San Francisco's pass rush at bay. And this is going to be the style. They're going to go after Kansas City this way in a more methodical way. Kansas City still has the firepower. But also, can Philadelphia get into a shootout with the Kansas City Chiefs? Something that we'll discuss over the uh, next few days as we get ready to go out to Arizona. So what's the poll question we're going to go with, uh, Fritzy? So I think we're going to roll with that one about what you remember most about the conference title games yesterday, which are, once again, Patrick Mahomes' gutty performance on bad ankle, Bengals' poor offensive line play, Brock Purdy, early QB injury, Eagles' superb defense, bad officiating. 
What are you going to remember, Paulie? I'm going to remember the moment where Josh Johnson comes in for Purdy, and you're like, okay, he's, he's playing okay. It's 7-7, and you know, they got a chance here. And when he gets knocked out early in the game, relatively early in the game, midway through the game, they cut to a clip of Christian McCaffrey sitting with the offensive coaches going over the offensive game plan. A running back has going to have to play the entire second half of the NFC title game, and they're still in it. Yeah. That would have been a wild development. Marv, your 49ers, uh, your takeaway from your devastating loss. Man, it was, a, it was a tough one. But you know what? I would have rather lost that way than the way the Bengals lost. Because you know what? It takes me a minute. Actually, I was at a kid's birthday party watching the game. Oh, no. That's <laughs> the worst of the weekend. Yeah. And so, you know what I was doing? I was doing, you know, saying stupid stuff like, you know what? Good season. No one even expected us to be here. Maybe halfway through the fourth quarter. So Yeah, Paul. I, I got to jump in here. Uh, whoever schedules a child's Ooh. birthday party during the AFC-NFC title game. Wow. I don't know if you could be yeah. kicked You're, out of the country or arrested. Are you still married to her? No, no, this this is my aunt. Oh, it wasn't your wife who made the call? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. no. And no. I my my aunt paid for like a lot of my college tuition, so I'm not <laughs> going to talk too much about her. Fair enough. Uh, Todd, what stood out to you? Once I saw Brock Purdy go down and just that image of Christian McCaffrey warming up briefly on the sideline was just like, oh, no, this is not going to go well. Yeah, I didn't know if he could throw the football. He did have a pass. He did have a touchdown earlier this year, and I thought, well, okay. I mean, I probably would have just stayed with the Wildcat offense there and and probably uh, changed up with uh, uh, Debo, put him there, right. you know, behind center, have McCaffrey switch it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, they, against that pass rush, you know, Hassan Reddick was wonderful, you know. You know, when you take out two quarterbacks, uh, you pretty much uh, you earned your paycheck yesterday. Here's Brock Purdy on how his arm got hurt. You know, my arm just felt like it stretched out. Um, just felt like really a lot of just shocks all over from my elbow down to my wrist, front and back. Um, just pain, really, all over. And it might be Tommy John. Uh, don't know if it's a torn ulnar nerve but that's what they were talking about at first I thought it was his wrist and then uh, there was a updated report on that that it, it was uh, his elbow and that may be something that would keep him out for a year it would be just like a pitcher having Tommy John surgery but we're trying to get an update on that uh, you know I don't know what the swelling is like they're going to have uh, MRI probably this morning and maybe we'll find out uh, before our show is over yeah Paul I'd like a redo of my memory of the weekend because when it was third and nine for Mahomes, maybe 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, and they uh, they don't complete the pass. I think he's going for Kelsey. Yeah. It looks like they got a punt. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you hear this confusion. Romo and Nance were very confused, as everyone was. Apparently the official had tried to blow the play dead because the clock was running, and nobody heard it. And so they all of a sudden they're like, they're going to give him another third down, a repeat third down. Zach Taylor, the coach of the Bengals, was losing his mind, and – he can't throw a review flag. Were you befuddled how they could replay a play? Yes. If the play starts and you haven't whistled it, then the play should continue. Like, you made the mistake. Okay. That, it, it counts. But it, how do you not, does he have a whistle to blow the play dead? He was trying to use his hands. Nobody could hear him. And, you know, the play started. You know, they spotted the ball. The line judge came in, re-spotted the ball. The spot was off. Reset the play clock. Game clock started running, shouldn't have started running. Then there was an incomplete pass. The field judge noticed that the game clock was still running, came in, shut down the play, get the clock fixed, but nobody heard him. The play was run after the play was over. He came in and uh, discussed what he was trying to do, shutting the play down. <laughs> so they reset the game clock back to where it was and replayed third down. Other than that... Nothing going on on that play. Yeah, Paul. And on that third down replay, Mahomes got sacked for eight yards. They would have been fourth and 17. And, the, you know, since they would have got the ball in great position, but Eli Apple got called for a hold. So you got a first down. A lot of Chiefs fans are saying, well, they punted on that drive anyway. But it, it changed the whole drive. It changed how the Bengals got the ball back. If it went the other way, we'd be hearing from Chiefs fans here. Well. Yes, uh, yes. Tim. Sometimes that little ball that bounces around inside the whistle can get stuck. So I'm wondering if he was blowing the whistle and just no sound maybe was coming out of it. He started using his fingers. That didn't work. Yeah. Well, it was cold there in Kansas City. That's true. City. Yes, it was. 
The big play in the Bengals' loss to the Kansas City Chiefs was uh, Joseph Vasai, the penalty on Mahomes that set up the game-winning field goal. This is how it sounded on the Bengals' radio network. Two receivers out to each side. Mahomes with a deep drop. Finish. Now moving in the pocket. Running to the right and running well. He's at the 50. He's trying to run for the first down. He goes out uh, of bounds. And the Bengals no. push him after no. he was out of bounds. Multiple flags Ugh. are going to tack 15 yards onto this play. Eight seconds left in regulation. And with that penalty, the Chiefs will be in field goal range. Man, you have to be more aware. This football team has got a lot of awareness. Not on that play. Joseph Fasai had a wonderful game, but a bad penalty would have been a 60-yard field goal. Instead, it's 45. And, you know, sometimes it's difficult. Once you start, you can't let up. And uh, he couldn't let up. Uh, whether Mahomes kind of uh, acted on it, so what? You're supposed to sell it best you can. And uh, that cost him. Uh, Joseph Fasai talked about the penalty. I said it was great knowing that I had my the support of my teammates and um I just gotta I gotta like Sam was saying I gotta learn from experience and um I gotta know not to not to get close to that quarterback when he's close to that sideline if, if there's anything that could uh, possibly cause a penalty in a dire situation like that I gotta do better. Things are happening so fast there obviously. Do, do you, did you have any idea you were, you were at that sideline there? I mean obviously you're in full chase and you know. Yeah, I was just in full chase mode and I was trying to um was trying to push him to maybe um get him going backwards because I knew he was going for that sideline. I was trying to make him go backwards, get that clock running, but um I I didn't know I d I haven't seen it yet. I didn't know how far out of bounds we were. But um yeah. If he can do an interview after a loss like that, I don't want to hear anybody ever saying that they're not doing interviews, don't want to do interviews after a game. That was that was tough to watch. On the sidelines, he's in tears. His teammates were trying to shield him from the cameras. Now, he made a bad play. Um, and as you know, Zach Taylor, the head coach, said, that's not what cost us. Well, it did cost you. Other plays earlier cost you, but that's the one that uh, prevented you from going to the Super Bowl. He had a wonderful game up until that moment. Uh, and we would have gone into overtime, which would have been great. 